Good morning from El Nido. It is another beautiful day in the Philippines. We are loving it here. Blue skies, sun, just a little bit of cloud. Earlier this week in El Nido, we took the Tor A island hopping cruise and it was amazing. I still can't get over how beautiful the big lagoon was. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We have been talking to locals and they told us the mainland also has so many beautiful beaches. So today we're going to check out what they say are the three best beaches in El Nido, Philippines. I know a lot of people are going to ask this. So we're paying 500 pesos a day to rent a motorbike here in Almedo. That seems to be the going rate. It is high season. Everyone charges 500. We could not get less. It is double, almost triple what we paid in other countries, but it's also much less than I would pay in Canada. But this gives us the flexibility to go when we want, where we want. And so for that, 500 Filipino pesos is worth it. Other than that one stretch of dirt, the drive has actually been really good. So we read conflicting information on what the roads were like around El Nido. A lot of people said that they were still uh, not paved and could be really bad, but so far they've been really good actually. And the main road up to here has two lanes. And then this one, it seems like it's been paved, I don't know, for a couple of years. So it could be like in other places in 2020, 2021, a lot of different destinations took that quiet time as a way to pave areas and fix some infrastructure, paint, do a lot of things like that. But so far this is pretty good. How hard was that little last bit of the road? It's hard from the 50% of the road. 50% of the road get, was get here. A little bit wavy, but the watercolor looks amazing. interesting it actually says that there's a rip current so you have to look at the flags to see if you can swim and it looks like it's a yellow day so you can go in but not too far oh this is twin beach nakpan i think it's a part of the beach hello how does it work for, that? for the sun beds how does it work mm, i don't know this do you pay for the bed? Yeah. How much is the bed? 500 for two, one free coconut, whole day. One free coconut or two free coconut? Uh, sorry, because the uncle included the only one coconut. Oh, so two beds, one coconut, yeah. 500. Yeah. Okay, cool, we're gonna have a look. So 500, that's about, I think that's 14, 14 or $15. Includes a coconut, two beds for the full day. Oh, the sand is so hot, hot. First impressions, this place is beautiful. So as you can see, the water is emerald green. There are a lot of amenities. On this beach, actually, there's some luxury, more high-end uh, hotels. And so you're gonna get those prices, but 14 for two beds is not bad. Definitely not bad for the most beautiful beach in El Nido, the most beautiful place in the Philippines. So I do think these are a great price for a lounger's most popular beach, most popular area. It's 500, you get a free coconut, fantastic. But I think we can do better. So we're not gonna be able to go in the first line, it's the second line. So I found a place down there that is going to be better. We get the chairs for free, we just have to order some food and or drink. And that's exactly what we wanna do anyway. I think this is just as nice and it's free if you buy something. All right, so we have the basics. Burgers with fries, chicken sandwich, cheese sticks, fries, burger steak with rice, pork sisig, uh, fried rice bowl. Oh, they have a fried rice bowl. I just got Ellen's attention. I saw a fried rice bowl. So first impressions of this place, I would say it's very beautiful, much like town proper, 
There's tourist facilities, but it's not too touristy. And I would actually say the prices for the food at this spot um, where you can get the free chairs, I think it's called Twin Beach Club, uh, are the same prices in town. So it's like $3.50 for a burger. They've got a fried rice bowl. They've got coconuts for $50. So it's not too bad at all. Enough people here, but not too many. That is key. And I think it's because a lot of people they just want to do the island hopping tours and they don't actually think to come to these other El Nido beaches. But so far, I can see it's definitely worth doing the mainland beaches as well. So the fresh coconuts are 50. Cold coconut is 100. Do you think the cold coconut they've already taken out of the coconut and then just put it into a glass? This is, did you get cold or fresh? Fresh. Yeah, only 50. That's fantastic. Other people, oh, are getting cocktails. And beer. One of the things I have to say that I have been loving about being in the Philippines is that they really are, seem to be committed to reducing single-use plastic, which is amazing. So there are signs everywhere. That's one thing. But also, we have not been served a plastic straw at all on this trip. Also, we've got lots of drinks that do not require straws. And when we have gotten a straw, it's paper. Now, of course, for a coconut, you do need a straw for a little bit of it. And we do have a paper one. But even when you go into stores, I don't think anyone has given us a plastic bag ever. In fact, we've just started saying no to paper bags because then you realize I would just rather carry what it is in my hand rather than carry it in a bag in my hand. Anyway, single-use plastic is a huge pet peeve of mine. We really have tried to reduce our own use of it um, with going to places that offer water, bringing our own water bottles. We have our own bags. We have a lot of things. And I'm just excited to get this. Paper straw, not awesome, but A paper straw is definitely better than plastic and this tastes so good. Mm. We got lunch here and there are fries. I think this is like a salsa rosa, which is mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. At least that's what they call it in Latin America or salsa gall. And then I got a burger. So it's actually pretty big. And here comes your nasi goreng for him. Thank you so much. Alan may leave the country, but he still needs to have nasi goreng. Oh, it doesn't taste like a lot. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I hope my burger is better than the rice. I feel like it will be. It's got a big, thick bun and so much on it. Oh. There's so much on this. I took a giant bite. I still haven't gotten to the meat yet, but it, it tastes good. What do you think? Yeah. Are you jealous? Mm -hmm. Do you still like your rice better? What is the red one? The red sauce, mayonnaise? Or? I think it's mayonnaise mixed with ketchup. Do you like it? I wasn't that hungry anyway. I just wanted a snack and I actually felt like even after the nasi goreng, he would want some of my burger. So if you're here, get the burger, not the fried rice. Nakpan has been amazing. We have really loved it here, but the day is getting away from us. We are heading on to the next beach in El Nido that is recommended by a few locals, and they said that all the facilities there are free.
right, we made it to Leo Beach. Now this is part of the Leo Tourism Estate. And I think basically what it is, is it's a development. And so in order to get permission for this development, uh, they made it a public place. So even though there are lots of resorts here, actually the airport is, I think, just right next door, literally right next door, and we'll see the planes. Um, but they made it public for everyone. So I've heard that the chairs and lounges are free. There's Wi-Fi for free and that there are no hawkers. Oh. <laughs> so it says, be mindful of biting sandflies or knick-knick on the beach. They are very small and hard to see, but their bites are itchy. We don't have any bug spray, natural bug spray. Ugh. And then here are all of the shops here. Ah, so it looks like there's a mercury drug, which is great if we need to get any drinks or anything. Hopefully the price will just be a little bit cheaper if we need to pick up water. Although we brought water. This is a beautiful spot. Plant and harvest. Looks like we might have some street food here. This is kind of funky. So there's some beach type things here. Ay papito tacos. I don't know, the last time I had Mexican food in Asia, it was not good. We're gonna hold off on that. What do you think? You like it, don't you? Everything looks very natural, not flashy, but... Not fancy. It doesn't look fancy, but it looks like very much still based in nature. And I give 10. You give a 10 out of 10. Yeah. All right. It's simple. It is very simple. So I can see here people are sitting in, we call them Muskoka chairs. I think they're also called Adirondack. These are supposed to be free. There's not a lot of them though. These ones right here are just free. You don't have to buy anything. They're just free to the public. I think you have to get here early to get one of those chairs. Anyway, it's fine. We've got something to put down. So we don't need to always sit down on the beach. But we could go look that way to see if there are any others. It just feels like you gotta be here early to get one. Oh, and then down there I see there's a smoking area, which is great, I love that. I just find cigarette smoke on the beach, it's too hot, I hate how it smells. I see two chairs. I'm gonna try to get there quickly. All right, here we go. So you can get chairs. Ooh. What do you think? You want a chair or do you want to sit on the... Let's take a chair. Let's take a chair for a while, yeah. This is nice. So here, uh, free Wi-Fi, I think, back there. Free washrooms, these free chairs. It said at one point there were umbrellas, but that might have been how they started out and it didn't work out. But this is, this is nice. And the airport is that way because there are signs that you can't walk on that side of the beach after the bridge because that is where the, air, the planes come in and out. All right, so Alan is trying to get on the Wi-Fi. He says it doesn't work. Now they say it only works kind of in the main area, not on the beach. And so we are going to have to just talk to ourselves. We have to entertain ourselves. Yeah. It's gonna be that kind of beach experience, which is kind of nice. Now there's no music here outside of um, just that taco place, but the beach is quiet and except for that helicopter probably bringing in some rich person into the airport. But it is nice here, I love all of the trees. It's so nice to go to a beach where you don't need umbrellas, you just have these trees. All right, so we have good news, bad news. The good news is you can get on the Wi-Fi, we finally figured it out. The bad news is you do need to have a Filipino phone number. So basically you enter the phone number, it texts you a code and you get Wi-Fi for 30 minutes. Not a long time, 
But actually, you don't really need Wi-Fi for that long. It's just really nice here. This beach actually, between November and April, is the best place to go surfing. We're going to go have lunch. We wanted to have Filipino food, traditional Filipino food, but it requires leaving the beach and kind of going back. I don't know where it is, but it is, I think, further back in like the little village area. So who knows, maybe we'll have tacos. Yeah. I papito tacos. Do you see something over there? It's like a hotel pool. This is frozen drinks, oysters, seafood. Actually, that doesn't look bad. Oh, they've got a prawn laksa noodles. Prawn laksa noodles. Oh, there's this little hidden word bakery. They've got desserts. Right across the street here, this is a crab place. Oh, it's like per hundred grams you can buy crab. We did find a place for Alan that has lasagna. It's called the Clay Kitchen, but we did look around everywhere. So Alan's getting fettuccine alfredo, which is actually his favorite pasta, and I'm gonna get uh, pizza because we just ate a couple of hours ago, but that was like a late breakfast, and now this is a late lunch. This is the nicest margarita pizza I've seen in a long time, and it actually uses fresh basil, which is fantastic. Why did they, what is, is that? No, I, that's for me. This is for me to pull the pizza up. I, that is not a fork for your, <laughs> this is for the pizza, right? It's going to serve the yeah, Oh! Oh, oh he, he's gonna eat all of that by himself. He's not gonna <laughs> share with me. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, oh, that is so good. This is, yeah, this is really nice. I have to say, sometimes when you go to a tourist place, you pay more, but it's not better. This place is actually very nice. They've given us two bottles of water, so no plastic here. It's just, it's nice, and it's kind of hidden, so it's called the Clay Kitchen. And the people here are nice, too. It's a uh, good pasta. It looks really good. It's a uh, look thick. Mmm, oh, that's good. Very creamy. Mmm, that is really good. All right, if you want to have Italian pasta pizza, this is the place to go. Alan just told me I had a snake. Actually, I have a snack. I was only able to eat half that pizza, and part of that was giving it to him. So we have a snack for later for the next beach. That was actually really good. Overall, it was 9.20, uh, no taxes here. All right, but let's check out this wharf. I've heard this is a really popular place at sunset. However, the sunset's right here. So it's one of those situations where, like most of El Nido, it actually sets behind a big limestone cliff. So you get a nice sunset in terms of colors, but you don't actually see it touch the water. The weather here in the Philippines has been so wonderful and just even this beach, I can't fly my drone because of the plane, but um, this beach is so lovely as well. Can I catch one coming out of here? So our last stop has the best sunset on the island. Now, as we were coming here, I knew there would be a big sign that says Vanilla Beach, and then there's a mall with a McDonald's. 
I think the only McDonald's around here. But uh, we overshot it, I guess we weren't looking. And we went down a road that I thought Google Maps was telling me to go down and immediately two people on motorbikes followed us and said, where are you going? And we said, oh, we're going to the beach. They said, no, you're going the wrong way. And they very kindly, very nicely told us to come around the corner. So it looks like that area, they are doing some demolishing or something. Maybe they were security, but you can see, this is a big mall behind me. And then right there, I don't know if you can see it. There's a big sign that says Vanilla Beach. So I'm not really sure how we missed that, but we did. Anyway, we made it. We made it here. Now, let me just give you a little back, bit of background on this place. So Palawan has a whole west coast, you would think the whole west coast has great sunsets, but it doesn't because it also has these beautiful limestone cliffs, which we love, but the sun gets trapped behind them, the sunset gets trapped behind them. And I guess this is one of the few places where you can actually go and see the sunset. So if you're in El Nido on that beach, beautiful beach, gorgeous at sunset, you will never see the sun because the limestone cliffs are just so high. So I think this is the only place in Palamon where you can go to McDonald's if you want to do that. All right, so you do walk through this mall-like complex. It's half full right now. There are some cute cafes and a few restaurants with Mexican. Everybody is obsessed with Mexican. And then you actually get to the beach. The beach is quite long. So although they call this Vanilla, Vanilla Beach, I think if you walk all the way to the end, you get to Las Cabanas. Oh, wow. Look at this view. Oh, this is nice. It looks like Hawaii. For review. Yeah, no, it does with all of the huge cliffs. It's gorgeous here. Oh, there's jellyfish. A beautiful beach. Alan just pointed to the the rooms up top here. Oh, they are gorgeous. Yeah, because you're like in the trees, but also hear the water. It's the perfect combination. Oh, there's a zip line. Oh, we can barely get them. Shooting right into the sun. I don't want to try a zip line. Do you want to try a zip line? <laughs> I did it once in my life. Once is enough. So we are just looking for a spot to put our towel down. Right here, it says sunset at Las Cabanas. So I feel like at least we are in the right spot for sunset. The first part of Vanilla Beach looks great, but we are here for something specific. Here comes another, can I get these guys on camera? Alan likes the palm tree, perfect spot. All right, we're still waiting for a sunset, but we've decided to go in the water while we still can. It looks beautiful, very shallow. Now this water isn't as green as uh, the first beach, Nakpan, but it's still really beautiful. And when you first came in, you said that it reminded you of what you thought Hawaii would look like. Yeah. I think you're right. Just being at this beach and having all of the limestone cliffs so close to us, it's really beautiful. But I want to know, what one is your favorite beach? Uh, they said Leo. Leo, Leo yeah. the second beach, Leo. So is that because it had so many facilities? Uh, facilities, clean and well arranged. Yeah. In a round. Yeah it, yeah, it was much more of a developed beach. Now, I am much more of an undeveloped beach kind of person. <laughs> um, I like Leo a lot but uh, it was just a bit too much. Also, they said you had to be afraid of sand flies. So I was really paranoid about that. I would say number one, beauty wise, I would still say Nakpan. Nakpan was just, the water was gorgeous. It was a very laid back beach, but this one is a close second. 
I like this one a lot just because of the natural beauty. The Hawaii that you mentioned is also just so, it's really beautiful here. It's only 15 minutes. If you want to walk, it's an hour. But in this heat, you definitely don't want to do that. But uh, I do really love this beach as well. I think, I wish we had done this a couple days ago so we could have more beach time here.